Hi, I'm Han, and I'm from Marion. I'm a sophomore, sorry. So, <laughs> uh, just before I say this poem, I'd like to issue a brief content warning. Uh, this will mention abuse. So if that is an issue for anyone, I advise that you maybe leave the room or stay. Do what you want. <laughs> um, there are things you don't learn about the abusive father's daughter. Things you don't are surprised to hear because isn't she never supposed to open her mouth in the first place? The first thing you should know about her is the first man she ever loved was her father. The first person to hold her, to cradle her in his hands, those same hands that left her face battered in shades of blue and violet, almost as if she is a canvas and the artist is made of pain. He was the first, he taught her to love carefully because if you love too hard, that's how you get hurt, that's how things break. She flinches when someone reaches for a high five. She thinks maybe the problem is her. The second thing you should know about her is her kindness is a defense mechanism, the switchblade she carries in her sock. She keeps people at a distance with I'm sorry's and excuses that hang like caution tape. She wears apologies like a necklace and hopes it doesn't strangle her in her sleep. The third thing you should know, every day she is scared that she will become more like her father. She hates the mirror because she can only see him, his eyes where her should be. She has his laugh and his same dry sense of humor. Does she also have his quick flame temper? She has to walk on eggshells. She can't trust herself. She needs to balance her emotions. Just like your father is the worst thing anyone could say to her. The fourth thing you should know, she is an expert at keeping secrets. And by the time she was seven years old, she had already tried to run away from home four times. She keeps her journals under the floorboards, carries a knife on her key ring, and has learned how to become invisible. Learning how to blend in with the crowd comes in handy when it's life or death, and keeping her mouth shut was something she was always good at anyway. Thank you.